Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcad. So today I wanted to talk about uh, grooving cycles uh, for uh, your turning center and a couple of tricks that you can do to help you when you're dealing with um, these deeper grooving cycles where, where you really don't want the tool to go all the way down. So let's uh, go ahead and jump right into it. Um, I have my stock already set up and I have my model here. I'm going to pull up my profile and from here I'm going to load a turning cycle and I'll select my geometry here and then we will do a turning groove cycle. We're just going to look at the rough right now and we have our groove tool you know and maybe maybe we want to use like a peck amount okay and um, Let's just go ahead and compute this. And what we're going to see is that the tool, you know, it's it's going all the way down here and it's pecking along. And, and the problem that you're going to have with that is um, depending on how deep it is, it can be kind of dangerous. Uh, just when it comes to uh, grooving, uh, it's just not necessarily the best option. So let's look at some things you can do to uh, reduce the amount of peck that's uh, happening so we can take this in, in multiple uh, steps to get down to the bottom okay so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to go to a new layer okay and uh, within this new layer let me blank out this toolpath all right let me blank that out uh, I'm going to join a line from here to here Okay, so now I have a line, and then I'm going to do line parallel, and then from here I'm going to determine how much I want it to take each pass. So in this case, I'm saying go down in. Um, uh, let me get. Uh, let's let's go a little bit. When I made that pass, it landed right on there. So let's make it 260. That should be all right. So we're saying, um, you know, how much we want it to go down each pass. So that that's fine. Okay, so we've created these lines here. I'm going to go ahead and trim them up. So I'm going to get rid of this one, this one, this one, and that one. All right, and then from here, I'm going to use the break many function. So I'm going to do utilities break many. I'm going to window in this geometry and hit my space bar. And basically what that's done is it's broken it. It's broken it at each of these intersection points, okay? And um, the reason why that is useful is I'm going to come in here, and instead of selecting all that geometry, I'm going to select these two verticals and that horizontal, okay? And then I'll go ahead and recompute this. So now I'm controlling how deep it's going to peck in, all right? And then from here, see, I need to create multiple levels of this. So I'll go ahead and paste another one, and I'll reselect. So it's going to be this one and this one. And then uh, really I need this geometry there and this geometry there. So now I have the next level. I'll go ahead and space bar and then compute. And we can see we have the next level. I'm going to go ahead and just paste this feature in the tree again. I'll go ahead and select the next group of geometry, which would be these here. And then I will compute again, and that gives me the next group. And then finally, I will paste another feature and select the last group of geometry, spacebar and compute. And that gives me the ability to go through here and to peck down level by level to get down to the bottom. Now, one of the things that you'll notice, um, you know, in this case, I only have one, two, three, four cycles to rough this out. But you do notice that it's it's going home every time, and I really don't want it to go home every time. So when I get into the feature, when you go to your rapids, you have some options as far as where it's going to go on exit. So you, uh, you can choose all these different positions. In this case, I'm just going to say no rapid on exit. So I'll recompute that one. This one, I'm going to do the same thing. Now, because you're going to be copying and pasting these features, what I recommend is before you start doing that, that you get all your settings for the first cycle dialed in correctly. So that way, when you copy it and paste it, you're not having to uh, go to multiple features uh, in order to update where it's going to go at the end. This one, uh, this one here, sure, we'll let it go home at the end. And there we go. So we have our different cycles. Now, let's go ahead and launch this in a simulation so we can see what's going on. So we're going to do modules, simulation. 
Uh, I didn't adjust uh, what the pecking amount would be, uh, but we could turn the peck amount on so it pecks it out. Uh, from here, I'm going to go to a view, front view, okay? And one of the things that... Um, I always forget where this feature is, but it's really good. I'm going to go to Cut Sim. I'm going to go to this Advanced Properties tab right here. I'm going to turn this on. This is one inch uh, or the number one. And then this is going to let me do a, a section view of the model. And, and just by doing the section view, it's just a little little easier to see what's going on. So um, again, this is on Cut Sim and Advanced Properties. Great tool. I always forget where it is. Not this time. <laughs> I gotcha. All right, so now we have our grooving tool. Uh, I'm going to slow this down a little bit, and I'll play this through so we can see we're grooving along at this level. Then we're going back down to the next level, and then going back down to the next level, and then finally the last level. Okay, so this is a great way to handle um, stepping down your grooving cycles. There's uh, a couple of key points uh, that you want to keep in mind. The first one is when you create the first feature, make sure to set up your tooling, you know, your speeds and feeds, your step over stock, your uh, peck increment, get everything set up correctly for the first one. And the last thing you want to do is where your rapids are, you want to make sure there's no rapid on exit because we don't want to send it home. Um, may, you know, you can use one of the other rapid positions if you want, um, you know, use a defined point or something along those lines but you don't want to send it home between each cycle okay the second thing is is you're going to take these features and copy and then you're going to paste them and that's how you're going to get the multiple cycles in here to do each level okay so that's the cam side and the cam features the other important information here and uh let me go back and i'm going to turn these levels off here and let me blank all this tool path out so I'm going to uh, optimize this geometry so I get back to the beginning. So I'll do reorganize, clean up, and optimize, select all, space bar. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to create the different levels, but I don't want to make it a real complicated process. So the easiest way to do that is just draw a line to bridge the gap. So we have this line here. From there, you can do line parallel and determine how much you want to take per each pass. Okay, so just do the parallel lines to get down to the bottom. Bottom. Then what you want to do is you want to trim out the extra geometry. So, I mean, necessary step, not necessarily, but it just cleans it up. Okay, so now we have our levels cleaned up and then but what we need to do is we need to break this geometry where it intersects each of these levels so we can select it. Okay, so the way we do that is utilities, break, many, and then we'll select all of this geometry space bar and now we have our broken levels so when we go to select we can select our horizontal and our vertical okay and apply that to a feature when we go to the next one we can select our horizontal this one we can you know kind of grab along here and you can zoom in and and whatnot so it just makes it really quick and easy to select the profiles that we need to rough out this groove now um i hope you found this information useful uh you know, um, if you have any questions or comments or feedback, reply back to the Facebook, the YouTube, or whatever thread this video may be posted in. If you like the video, let's get a thumbs up. And uh, if you have any comments, uh, you can comment right back, uh, right below there in the comments section, and I'll be sure to respond to it very quickly. Otherwise, I uh, hope you guys have a great day. And as always, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much, guys.